Good morning, everyone. Okay, we'll continue our book reading this morning, Advanced Selling Strategy by Brian Tracy. Yes, they looked at imprinting and presentation tools. Defined imprinting as a simple technique you can use in conjunction with in conjunction to push the hot button and other words too you can use to imprint on your customers. You give example of imprinting it's just like a message that you can leave with your customers. One of the examples is like telling them that they can buy it today or they can take it with them or whatever imprinting words or message you want to give us. Then we looked at presentation tools. So one of the first success for presentation is by having product knowledge. And the second one is by having customer knowledge. Today on page 341, we'll be looking at the third presentation tool, which is, which is true, sorry, which is thorough pre preparation. Thorough preparation. It is the, one of the presentation tools that is important that we must learn to use or inculcate when making a presentation or trying to make sales to our customers. So the third presentation tool is thorough preparation. For the sales call, many sales are lost every single day because the salesperson arrives at the customer's place of business without the necessary materials to complete the presentation and conclude the sale. The twin benefits of thorough preparation are that it is it not only gives you greater confidence in your ability to handle anything that you might come up with in the sales presentation, but it also gives you it also gives your prospect greater confidence in you and your ability to satisfy his needs. Do not overlook your briefcase during your pre present your preparation. It should be carefully arranged and neatly organized. You should only carry in your briefcase the things you need to make the presentation and make the sales. All other items should be left at home or in your drawer in the office. When you open your briefcase, the customer will often glance inside to see how professionally, how professional you really are. Your customer will assume that the organization of your briefcase is similar to the organization of your entire business. If your briefcase is sloppy and full of irrelevant materials, your customer will assume that your company is also sloppy and disorganized. Be sure to check and double check everything in your briefcase before you leave the office. It will pay off in the long run. Another critical aspect of preparation prior to the sales call has to do with the multi-call nature of complex sales. Because you will usually have to make several calls on the same person to make a single sale, each call must be planned and prepared in advance. You cannot simply go back and say the same thing you said last time. Each call must, must build on the previous call. Each must have specific objectives that piggyback on the objectives reached in the previous conversation. There must be an obvious sense of forward progress on the part of the customer. You need specific written call objectives like goals for every sales call. Imagine that your sales manager was accompanying you. He is sitting in the seat next to you and he asks you, exactly why are we calling on this prospect at this time? What are we trying to accomplish? And how will we know that he has been, that it has been a success? You should briefly write out the words that complete the sentence. My objective for these calls are dash, dash, dash. At the beginning of the sales call, you should share these objectives with your prospect. Tell him exactly what you want to accomplish at this time and where you hope to be at the end of the sales conversation. As I suggested earlier, 
a written agenda of your objective neatly typed out for your prospects to follow is extremely impressive it marks you as a true sales professional at the end of the call take out your call sheet and quickly jot down every single thing you covered during your conversation especially read objective for the call and ask yourself if you at if you attained them if not why not call objectives are like the rungs on a ladder for you to get from the bottom of a ladder to the top you must step on every rung when you want to make a sale there are a series of objectives you must accomplish the first tool you need for any sales presentation is timing and punctuality once you've made all the efforts necessary to get a definite appointment to the qualified prospect, you must protect this appointment against postponement or cancellation whenever possible. You should definitely confirm the appointment before you leave your office to make sure you're not wasting your time. Salespeople sometimes fear confirming appointment because of the possibilities that the prospect will cancel the appointment when they call. There is a simple way to deal with this challenge. Either do it yourself or have your, have your secretary phone the prospect's office and ask if he is there. If the receptionist or secretary says yes, you, are, you, are, you then say, please tell Mr. Prospect that John Jones of ABC Company will be there for his appointment at 10 o'clock as scheduled. Thank you very much. The advantage of this telephone confirmation is that you remind the prospect that you have an appointment with him just in case he has forgotten. Plus, you emphasize the importance that you placed on the upcoming meeting. Your prospect will be much more likely to clear his calendar and create the time period that you require than he might have had. Then he might have had he not heard from you. Be sure to arrive for your appointment 10 minutes earlier. If for any reasons you are going to be delayed, phone in advance and ask if permission for permission to come later. If you are really tied up with another customer or are on, a, on the other side of town, ask the schedule ask to schedule another appointment and confirm the time and date at that time whenever you do don't show up late and give the idiot excuse i got stuck in traffic this just makes you look foolish and undermine your credibility before you even start talking to the prospect about his problem and your solution the fifth presentation tool is practice and rehearsal. As I said earlier in this chapter, your presentation of your product is where, your demonst where you demonstrate your real skill as a professional salesperson. All top sales people use a planned presentation. You could wake them up, you could wake them up at 3 o'clock in the morning and ask for a presentation and they could get up and begin it, starting from the general and moving through the particular to the close of the sale. Top sales people rehearse and review their presentation before they go into the to go in to see the customer. They take a few minutes to check all the details one more time. They review the customer's file so that they are aware of the pertinent information the customer has given them. Or that they have gathered earlier. They are like star athletes going into competition, thoroughly warmed up, loose, flexible, and prepared to perform at their best. Okay, this is what we'll be stopping for our reading today. Continue from where we stopped yesterday on that presentation tool. So they looked at the presentation tool, which is thorough preparation you have to organize yourself organize your briefcase know the items you're taking 
with you know the calls that you're making know the objective of what you're going to talk about with this client either on phone or in person then the fourth tool of sales presentation is timing and punctuality so once you've made every necessary effort to prepare for your meeting try to avoid any cancellation or postponement with your clients or your customers before going for that meeting if you know that something came up or something is going to come up you have to call your prospect or your client or whoever you're having that meeting with to let them know that you will not be able to meet at that time if you'll be able to schedule another time but try as much as possible to avoid postponement then it's also important to have a telephone confirmation of the meeting you're having with this prospect before you go you can do like two hours before the meeting time or an hour before the meeting time or like maybe 45 minutes or 30 minutes before the meeting time to let the customer know that the clients know that you will be you have a meeting with him schedules at so 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 time then the fifth presentation tool is practice and rehearsal practice and rehearsal still talking about thorough preparation prepare yourself thoroughly review your customers file know your the, the information or research you've done about your customer know about your customers company what you guys are going to uh, talk about and the rest of it so all these skills, all these skills you acquire as a salesperson make you look professional and organized. It puts you as a top salesperson in the customer's mind and so on. So that is just a brief summary of our reading today. Thank you.